when you get used to internet and then you don't have it anymore. I'm freaking out, man. Another day in the life on the mountain. Well, a few days ago, we yeah. had a really intense lightning storm come through. And basically, our mountain was dead center. It was the epicenter of the whole lightning storm. When I went back to look um, the next day on Monday, I can, you can look up the history of lightning strikes. You can look up the records and exactly where they were and all that kind of stuff. And within a thousand feet of our new home, there was six lightning strikes. And unfortunately, at least one, maybe more, caused some damage. Natalie's been having to drive into town to upload her audiobooks that she records. It's been, you know, when you get used to internet and then you don't have it anymore, it kind of kind of stinks. So, just check the mail. We are replacing our old Wi-Fi router. And this is what's called a MoFi 4500. And what it does is you put a cellular SIM card inside and you pay for a cell phone plan. And just like you would tether or a hotspot from a phone to other devices, we will tether and hotspot from here. And we've had it set up for the last 12, 13 months now, and it's been working relatively well. Um, but now we have to replace the old one that got fried during the lightning storm. So let's open up the box and check out what's inside. All right, so taking a look inside, we actually had the last one that was readily available on Amazon. 4G LTE antennas. You get two of them. You got your start guide and your manual and all that good stuff. Right here is our AC power adapter, which after the lightning storm, we saw that this was basically blown apart. <laughs> that was not cool. It does come with an ethernet cable if you want to hardwire a computer or, or another device to the router itself. These smaller antennas are for your Wi-Fi signal. So to broadcast Wi-Fi to your devices in your house. Got some mounting hardware. And then here's the device itself. Take a look at it. So it actually has <clears throat> four separate ports on the back for ethernet. And I'm not the most technical savvy guy, so some of you guys out there might be able to look at it and kind of see all the cool things you can do with it. Um, but you can set up your own home network and you can secure it with passwords and all that good stuff. USB port on the front, you can put a memory card in it. Um, but that's it, the MoFi 4500 4G LTE router. And uh, let's go ahead and get it set up so we can get our internet back. All right, so disclaimer, I'm about to show you the standard setup for this router, but after I set it up the way a standard consumer would set it up, then I'm going to take it apart and show you how I set it up for our situation here on our little mountain. So first, we've got our Wi-Fi antennas. Now I'm putting in one of the LTE, 4G LTE antennas, which apparently in about a year is gonna be obsolete because everything's gonna be 5G. I guess some cities in America already have 5G going for them. Good for you, that'll never happen up here in the mountain. So we're gonna keep using this. And that is your standard setup for your antennas on your router. Then obviously you have your power cord. That'll plug in back here on the back. Now, the part that makes everything kind of work is your SIM card. But it comes with a little tray, kind of like the big phones will come with trays. But our provider for cellular service is T-Mobile and they've worked really well for us. So I'm just gonna push it in, just like you would on your cell phone or your tablet and now it's installed. So that is a standard installation set up for your router. Now, let's take it apart and show you how we do it on our mountain. Enter these bad boys. You can't even fit them all in the frame. 
These are the aftermarket, so to speak, Wi-Fi antennas. Obviously they are quite a bit larger than the standard antenna, about twice as long, and gives you much better range for your Wi-Fi signal. So let's go ahead and put these on. All right, now we're over to the window in the house. And this window happens to be the closest window to the nearest cell tower. It's pretty important. Uh, you can find free apps that can help you locate the nearest cell phone tower to your location. This is the old router that fried. And you're gonna see now, I've got these two wires coming in, these two cables. And in just a second after I plug them into the MoFi router, I'm gonna take you outside and show you our souped up antennas that we have. So these are replacing those paddle flappy looking ones that I showed you earlier. So I'm putting these cables in. Time to plug it in. It is all lit up like a Christmas tree and it's doing its initial boot up. So, and while we wait for that to happen, I'll go outside and I'll show you the antennas that we use. And as I pan over, you'll see our grill with a PVC pipe attached to it. And there is our antenna setup. Super fancy, I know. Obviously not, but that's what we have to work with. And um, yeah, this antenna, I believe it's called a Yagi. And I'll include a link to this antenna as well as our router. The antennas are supposed to be, they're working together in tandem and they are perpendicularly mounted towards the nearest cell phone tower. And the science behind it says that that is the optimal way to get the best signal. So that is our antenna setup. Eventually, we will mount it up here on the corner of the house, right up there. But until I get up there to do the gutters, it'll stay down here. So thankfully, those antennas did not get fried by the lightning. And now we have Faster internet again. Hooray internet. All right, so we really didn't have a choice with internet. Okay, well technically we did. We could go without internet. We could, play, we could pay for satellite internet, which was like $120 a month, and it was slower than the internet we're getting now. Or we could go the route we went. The MoFi 4500 router runs you about $330 on Amazon. It is not a cheap router. It's not your standard router that you use inside your house when you live in the city. Um, this is obviously doing a lot more. It has the SIM cards. It's attached to these big antennas. Uh, not your average router. So 330 bucks. It's not cheap. Uh, these antennas, I'll have to double check and I'll put, I'll put the price right here. Um, but they are not cheap either. And unfortunately, sometimes you got to pay to get what you need. And Natalie, as most of you know, she is a professional audiobook narrator. So from the shed over there, she is recording audiobooks every day. So she's got these large files that she always has to send out on a daily basis with all of her audio for the books. And then, of course, we need internet for everything else, whether it's paying bills, Netflix and chill, all that kind of good stuff. So it comes with the cost, but it's mostly reliable, at least when lightning doesn't strike. And it's what we have to work with. So that is how we have our internet on top of our little mountain. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been fun putting these videos together. And now as I record this, we are almost at 200 subscribers. So thank you to everybody that's been watching the video so far. And if you haven't enjoyed our videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And we've got a lot more coming, more finishing on the inside of the house. Lots of big projects. Uh, plan for our little mountain. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.